What's up you guys, it's Caitlin, and today we are going to make some DIY flip flops. And so all you'll need is a piece of cardboard. I'm using the one from the box because it's the most sturdy of them all. And I gotta warn you, these flip flops are not waterproof unless if you put a waterproof coating over it or whatever, something like that, waterproof coating or whatever. Okay, so to start off, you need to measure your foot. So let's get on the floor, like I am right It depends if you are Bigfoot, <laughs> and if you need another piece of cardboard, like me. And you just measure, you use a pencil, and not a pencil, whatever you want, whatever utensil, not you, okay, whatever, um, drawing thing you want. And you just go around your foot, leaving a little bit of space. And you can either have shots, sh Socks on or <laughs> barefoot, but I'm barefooted, so it works out more easier. Did I really just not record that? Okay, well, anyways, I twist my foot on here. Um, I'm gonna outline it. Alright, hopefully you can see it better. Yeah, you can. So I outlined my foot and I outlined it again for um, using this. And as you can tell, if, only if you want like toe flip flops, which I never really heard of. I heard of toe shoes and socks, but not flip flops. If you want to make that new thing happen, then go for it. But anyways, um, I'm, you cut this out where it you go a little bit inside of the line. That's why we did a little more extra outside because, like, honestly, it's going to look kind of weird unless if you're going to use paint or something. And so that's why it's a lot, like, thicker than my actual foot. You can also use a real flip-flop of yours to go around this. If your feet are the same size, then I would just... Um, flip this upside down and use it um, to trace another one. But my feet are one whole foot off, so um, that's why I need to trace my other foot for this. And kids, you might want to have a parent or guardian help you cut because it is kind of hard. Then you, you put it back on your foot and see if the measurements are still good. Which they are for me. It, it's okay if it's a little bigger or not. But anyways, after that, you might want a little more toe room because, yeah. So after that, you decorate it any way you want. Like, literally any way you want. So if you want to cover it with paper, it might not, um, it's not going to be waterproof. Unless if you have, like, special waterproof paper I never heard of. But... All I'm going to do is kind of fold around it, um, and it has to be neat on the top, that's the most important part, but on the bottom, it really doesn't matter because you're, no one's going to really see the bottom of your foot, um, unless you are showing the bottom of your foot, but, so yeah, you use tape or glue to secure that down, and it's kind of messy doing this, but I'm not going to cover in paper because that's a little hard. But if you're absolutely eager to have a waterproof um, flip-flop, then follow my lead. So first, you are going to take some um, duct tape because duct tape is waterproof. So um, whatever style you want, I'm not going to judge you on it. So today I'm going to use this pink zebra one, which I did get at Meyer, And you just pull it off a little bit, and then you wrap it around your foot, cut out, and when it's like the right size, then it, you can cut it. And to um, save duct tape, you don't have to do the bottom, but it may get your cardboard soaked, so I do recommend to do the bottom, but um, I'm not going to wear these at the pool or any place, so um, I'm not going to do it at the bottom. Okay, so I covered my whole entire foot, and still make sure the measurements are accurate, and it will fit your foot. 
might or it might not um, work out. So I honestly give your toes a little more space. Up. I didn't, but I don't really want to start over again. But um, you do want to give it more a wider part here, or it's not going to really work out that well. So next, you will either need a hole puncher or scissors, but I'm going to use a hole puncher. And you're going to measure right on your toe, right where it, um, right here of your big toe, so you know exactly where it will fit. So you just kind of put your finger there, or you can like mark it or something, and you just cut with a hole puncher since it's cardboard so you might want to use some scissors because that is easier to get a hole through which is really hard so when you get the hole if you're using scissors you kind of want to twist it around so it's like that still make sure it fits it's an easy fix if it's not in the right space, then you just cover it with duct tape or paper or whatever you use to decorate it. So you kind of just get that hole around there. And yeah, just like that. What I'm going to use is some pipe cleaners. Um, you can actually use rubber bands if you made the rainbow loom um, kind. So if you're going to use pipe cleaners, then you need two of them for each float song. Um, so first you take the first one and put it through the hole and then it, you kind of do something to it where it won't get back out of the hole. Kind of like twist it like that so it's not going to get out. And then you take your other one and do the same thing. And you might need your parents to do this because it is parent or guardian, sorry. Um, because it is kind of um, hard. Then, when it you, because um, like you can easily get poked. Then you put your toe in between both um, pipe cleaners and you get. So after that, as you can see, what I did, you put your toe in between both of them, and as you can see, my flip flop isn't that well. Um, and this is why you need a little extra on the side. Um, so after that, you mark where you want it to end. So I'm going to have it right here. So you kind of like want to keep an eye on that spot. If you want to be exact, put like a little point there. And you're just going to stab the hole through that spot. If you do rip it like this, um, like I just did, then it, you just cover it in duct tape, or you can just um, like get the part that you don't want for the hole, and leave the part that was the hole, and probably make it a little bigger. So just kind of swirl it around and get back, and have the tape stay. So after you have the hole um, big enough, you either take your rubber bands or pipe cleaner and put it through, but make sure it doesn't, like, go all the way down like that. Like, leave a little bit. Or whatever will work out for you. So, I'm gonna leave it that much, and kind of twist it around at the end, and make sure it stays flat. And do the same to the other one. Just poke the hole through it, right diagonally across from it, or wherever it'll work out for you, and just the hole, and yes, I'm doing it this way because it's way easier. Take that piece, and I'm going to cut another piece of duct tape. This is just work out for. And I'm just going to tape, so it's only the hole. But that's my way. That's not a really good way. <laughs> Um, and then you re-poke the hole, which is way easier because it's only a normal material. And then you 
put in that pipe cleaner or rubber band or wherever, whatever you're using for this um, flip flop, and you kind of you can swirl it around. I think it'll be easier if you do like a swirl like that because it stays at the bottom the most. But anyways, that's how it, you make a flip flop. Um, mine is probably not as good as yours, but this is how it turned out. It's a lot more bendable, so it's a lot more comfortable. Um, it depends how you made it, but it is, you can either make it waterproof or not. I would love to, love to see your guys' designs, so can, if you can, you can post them on Instagram and, um, show me, and you might be included in one of the videos. But anyways, you kind of want to hide the um, stuff back here, so if um, it's a little too noticeable, then um, I would just tape it down. Like tape the um, rubber band or the um, pipe cleaner stuff. So it will be a little easier and look a little more better. Especially if you did the whole back, it won't look that good it, with like just a pipe cleaner sticking out of it. So I would definitely secure these down because they do move. So um, that's what I'm doing. Just like that, as you can see what I'm doing, I'm just covering up the parts that are seen with tape. Not seen, you can't really see them, but um, parts that will move around the shift, the pipe cleaners or rubber band. So it's just like that, and that's how you do it. And again, I would love to see your guys' design of flip-flop or anything that I made, but this is what it looks like. It does flip-flop. I didn't make another one. But this is just a really nice design that you can make for friends, family, or yourself. And it, I do think it looks really well. Um, and this is the first time I did it, but thank you for watching so much. Give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to post your pictures on Instagram. And you might have a chance to have um, be in the video. The link is down below, or the Instagram name is down below. And so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.